I'm wondering if we're meditating with a question, what, how does it relate to stillness? Or is stillness uh, also a goal, like not thinking? Excellent question. Stillness by itself is not a goal, it's a byproduct. It's a natural byproduct of your questioning. When you ask the question, what is this? Then many answers come and go. Many kind of fraction identities appear and disappear. But if you let this flow appear and disappear, after a while this stops and only the question remains. Whether it's a few weeks, a few months, we don't know. Depends on your karma or how much you are attached to your own mind stream. So you keep asking, what is this? And after a while, only the question remains. Not only that, later on the words of the question disappear and only the sense of the question remains. And when that happens, that stillness is what we are looking for. But not directly. Like I said, let it appear as a byproduct. Why? Stillness itself comes and goes. But we must attain the source of that stillness, which can withstand any kind of storm in your mind. So when that happens, it's not this kind of artificially imposed quiet. You, inside your mind, you cannot do that. If you suppress any mind content, it comes back with a vengeance. It's the negative interest of your karma. So, perceive it. And as long as there's something to perceive, without any inquiry into the karma, just see, just hear, just perceive. So don't attach to the karma, come back to the question. And when you come back to the question, you in fact remove your energy from that karma. And that's how it disappears. The good news is, karma doesn't exist by itself. And there is no bad news. But it takes work to remove all the habit force which you put into your karma back to not moving mind, back to no I, no dualism, no suffering, no enlightenment type of, you know, clear mind. Why are these habit forces so strong? So why do we have such a hard time, you know, asking the question and not being attached to our karma? The reason is, these habit forces for many lifetimes ensured our three major goals. Survival, possession, procreation. These are the three major instinct groups that we are working with. And as human beings, everybody has them. To what extent? That depends on us. Whether it's 1% or 99 or anything in between. That is the biggest question. How much you are transforming your karma or leave it as it is, raw, unseen, uncouth, uncultivated? So when you practice, and you remove this habit force and then you become clear, spontaneous and selfless instead of selfish, predefined, predetermined. Okay?